Sorry, we cannot confirm your identity. Do you get music or something? <laughs> no. Do, do you mind doing it there? Yeah, we can do it there. We've been hearing a strange tale about seven people who have fragments of some kind of master key to switch off or restart the internet. They're about to gather in LA for a key ceremony, so we're going to follow them to find out who they are and what this key actually does. We've arrived in Los Angeles, home of amazing cityscapes, palm tree lined streets, and ICANN, one of the bodies that runs the internet. This is Rick Lamb, a savvy senior program manager at ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, which basically assigns web addresses. The California-based organization is technically a not-for-profit, but it has one of the biggest jobs in governing the internet to manage the domain name system, or DNS. As far as who put ICANN in charge of all this, that's a really good question. It's the community, it's the people that have put ICANN in charge. But what exactly is DNS? When you type a web address into your browser, your computer looks in an online phone book of sorts to see where to go. This is called a domain name system. It's being made more secure. It's going to be signed so that no one can trick people into going to the wrong place. At the heart of this new system lies one master key. That key is controlled by seven smart cards locked in one of two high security deposit boxes, one on the east coast, one on the west. The keys to those boxes are scattered around the world in the hands of two groups of seven online security experts. How do we pick these people? We have Russians, we have Chinese, we have people from Burkina Faso, we have somebody from Trinidad, we, we have people from, and, and they're all technical experts. So we published the, we published the criteria on the ICANN website. He said, if you're interested, apply. The idea behind this, they say, is to make sure that no one person, company, or even government can get control of the key. So what happens if this master key to the internet gets lost or stolen? Does the whole thing have to shut down? Are we back to an era of carrier pigeons and Morse code? Click. With the push of a button, the words are on their way to Cumberland, Missouri. Actually, it's not quite that dramatic, but we're going to take you inside this secure data center in El Segundo, California. The ceremony takes place here. In this data center, ICANN has full control over a secure, compartmentalized information facility. This is a high security room designed to be able to store even the most sensitive classified information. Getting into the data center involves a series of security precautions reminiscent of a Bond film armed security guards, biometric hand and iris scans, secret pins and smart cards. Accessing the ceremony room is even trickier. Only a select few can enter at once and everyone must promptly sign in in the secured lobby on Mantrap before moving forward. Needless to say, space is tight. Please center your eyes. Once inside, copies of the script are handed out. This is a series of more than 100 actions to complete during the ceremony. Everything is recorded to the minute using GMT time, for consistency we're told. The ceremony should go like this. The ICANN staff and key holders get their equipment from the secure safes. They wire everything up and activate the machine that will renew the key. They type in the code to renew the key and then lock everything back up. At first, everything goes to plan, but that run of luck doesn't last forever. Someone slams the safe door and triggers a seismic sensor, which locks the key holders to the internet in a small cage. We need help here. The only way out is to trigger an evacuation. After more than half an hour, the plan has worked and the ceremony is back on. The assembled crowd applauds as the new key is generated and passed to Tomofumi Akubo, an ICANN crypto officer, to transmit for use. The job is done for another three months. Step 31 is So that's the ceremony. A little bit of high security, a little bit of computer repair, a little bit of theater, and a little bit of chaos. Sounds a lot like the internet to me. 